Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. So we are getting ready for another demo here at Nude Food. I'm Chef Moy, and today we're gonna have um, we're gonna demonstrate two mesh dishes you can prepare at home very easy. We're gonna have the uh, rice spring rolls and a sesame dressing. So the ingredients are very easy to find at the local supermarket. Hello, Kevin. We see people jumping in. Hello, Bina. Rash. People are coming in. And we just need a uh, blender and a chopping board. And pretty easy. I'm using a mandolin. This is just to create a very nice uh, texture, a very nice um, cutting pattern but uh, you can use a knife to achieve that we're gonna do julienne we're gonna do a little bit of chopping and we're gonna get very ready two more minutes The onion, onion was missing. <laughs> Okay, one more minute to start. Munch HK, welcome. Wow, many familiar faces. Is everybody ready? Everybody coming in? One more minute. One more minute. One more minute, one more minute. Yeah, one thirty. Okay, welcome everyone. Hi, Chef Yin. Hello, welcome everyone. So I'm Chef Moy from Nude Food, and today we're gonna have two amazing dishes you can prepare at home. So we have the rice spring rolls and the ses and a delicious sesame dressing. So we're gonna get ready, and let's start. So I'm just in here a high-speed blender and we're gonna make the dressing right now so the ingredients are very easy to find so we need two garlic so very easy garlic you take the knife press them and you will see the garlic coming out very easy right yeah, I got my, this is like my trash, right? This is one. Take the arm of the knife away, this side, not the blade, this side. Just press it down. Press. Well, that garlic went away. Press and press on the side, the peel comes out. Right now, this part uh, must come out. You make sure there is no stem here on the back. Put it in. I'm adding olive oil. Rice vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar if you like, but this is very good with the flavor of rice vinegar. Smoked sesame, 
brings a very nice Asian flavor, smoky taste. So tamari, tamari is similar to soy sauce, but is gluten free and I feel it less salty. Leave it in water to balance that intensity. This is around 30 ml. Oh, I got here my eco-friendly wax reusable cover, better than plastic. Tahini. We're gonna upload the recipe with the, all the amounts. Okay, let all, all that come out. Okay. We almost got a spatula ready to push that. Okay, coming out. Onion, you don't need to chop it because it's gonna blend. Two cracks, black pepper just to give some taste, fresh red crack, gets very nice flavor, that's it. And that's it, everything is ready on the blender and we're gonna just blend until it gets completely emulsified. I love this salad, this dressing goes very nice on salads, goes very nice on, on um, and with sushi, with rice. I like it, I like to keep it on the fridge or it's ready anytime. Hello, Corin. So I'm blending with the high stick. Good afternoon, Corinne. Okay, now as you can see, let's give it a taste. Taking a spoon, give it a taste. Hmm, just right. So it should feel a little bit intense because you're gonna balance that with your rice rolls, right? So it should feel intense and it will balance the intensity with the food. Now what I like to do when I make my dressings, I, I got a mason jar already prepared to put the sauce. I like to keep all in mason jars. You can put the, the production date when you make it so you remember it, but because I use it very fast, I don't put that production date. Yeah, so there. We got the sauce ready. I'm gonna set it aside for later. Put a blender down. Let's connect it. We're gonna keep this, move this dish out. Back. and we're gonna come out with the chopping and preparation Tortillas. Okay. We always use a wet towel. Take a wet towel to put your cutting board. Okay, so I'm using here a wet towel to put my chopping board. 
put your chopping board and your wet towel. Then it's not slippery, it's firm. So I'm setting up all my area here. We got these beautiful vegetables. So water here ready. Mandolin that we're gonna use. Moment. Another towel. Okay. So we're gonna start prepping up all your ingredients which is are gonna be your fillings for your rice wraps so we're gonna start gonna see how we make this rectangle with a carrot then we'll continue with some slices of the avocado bell pepper and um, we got also some fresh mint, I like, like to keep it super fresh. I just harvest it. This is a uh, lemon mint, I like this flavor pretty much. Okay. And we got some, um, it's not tortillas, our rice tortillas. Okay. Okay. Let's make this. Square. I like to make squares uh, because this is the size of my wrap so it will be a lot easier with the mandolin okay so I'm just gonna take a carrot I already measure it it's gonna be all right this when this for my juice later save it zero waste uh, then we just doesn't need to be perfect, but you're gonna slice. See, once this edge touches, I put it back here. And then, um, this is the side I'm gonna use with the mandolin. Then just slide a little bit like this, yeah. It's kind of like a rectangle, you're gonna see. I'm gonna show you why. Okay, now we got this mandolin, right? So this mandolin, what it has, it has um, uh, already a uh, tooth here, right? For a slicing, we're gonna do julienne. So it's gonna be like um, matchsticks, they're called in matchsticks, right? So it's very important when making this, you make very nice food preparation. Now you're very mindful, very mindful with the fingers. Put my square. Put it here. Firm. One hand grabs it here. And you slice. Okay. And we got beautiful chopsticks. Okay. Okay. So put this here. I'm not gonna use any more this one. Then uh, cucumber, so the cucumber, again, I'm gonna keep the skin. I like to use it with the skin. So I, I go, uh, one tip, mm, I forgot, they take the, you take the edge of the cucumber and you just rub it away like this helps kind of prevent some like bitterness so you do circle 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 here yeah it's like a tip they do right with the cucumber yeah I forgot to get this okay so feels less bitter right the skin has a lot of protein well more nutrients 
so I like to keep the skin you know it's very good for the skin keep the skin for the skin it's beautiful cucumbers now we, you're gonna use around the same length right so I'm gonna cut them around half and and then you're gonna just slice make also some match sticks see I'm using the tip of the knife right okay so this is the layout we want to be right um i i like uh this is quite good uh if if it's too too big you can just um keep a, a another high but i think this is i uh, just about right a good size so like half millimeter Yeah, this is a little bit long, so I'm just gonna give it a, 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 a little, a little slice here. I like to eat the seeds. I like to eat just everything. It's all amazing plant-based food. Okay, cucumber, that's about okay. You don't like the skin, you can just remove it so this is just about it one 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 okay we'll keep this aside so we got your carrots your cucumber bell pepper so first you want to remove the the stem many ways of cutting bell pepper all the seeds take them out cut in half flatten it then you remove the this part right then you make like a grid I'm gonna make like a square it's for later and then uh, get this a little bit out Careful. Okay. Okay. Then same width, same length. Some simple knife skills, just like a little bit thick Julian here. So you got your carrots, cucumber, bell pepper, obviously avocado. So remember, soft here, remove this. Careful, cut, cut, keep filling all that seed all the way. Good. Then um, we're gonna scrape it up. Got the spoon. Go from the tip here and press it. You're pushing it, pushing it, pushing the spoon towards your skin. There. I'm gonna keep this for later. So I like to go and um, you make like a fan. 
also like two millimeters continue 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 press it that's it you're gonna go put it open like that because they're gonna go one slice one slice one slice one slice right So you got all your ingredients ready. Clean up, clean up. You make your station. So I got a paper towel, slightly humid, slightly moist. One bowl. See, it's a little dented, a little bit deep, but not too much. And then we got our filter water. Put it there. So they are dry, right? So I'm just gonna start putting one or two. It's okay. I set this aside. So I am just pressing them, pushing them, making like a this motion. Right, so all the rice papers start getting like moist, right? Moist, 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 right? Moist, 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 moist. I got two. I like to do two at a time. Because one will come out first and the other one will be ready. Two, 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 two. Okay. Moist, 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 moist. Not yet. Hello, Chef Yin. Thank you, Rod, uh, Chef Jean. Yeah, thank you. Then go, 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 go. Not yet, not yet. We're just massaging that rice paper. To rice paper, they can find them in any market right now. With the pasta, it's gluten free. Um, some people like to fry them after this step. I like to keep them like that. Hello, Arati. Arati, you make this very good. Now you you try to press them, but be kind. Don't go like that because they're very fragile. You know, they're very fragile, right? So I got here, see that, got it, and I put it here. See, you can kindly move it here, yeah, right, okay, there's a rice paper, right? So I like to take like, um, Let's put some carrots. Yeah, we got some carrots here. Cucumber. I like more carrot. I'm like a rabbit. You can use sprouts, you can use... Uh, uh, and one more thing. One more thing. That I put it on the fridge. I knew something was missing. This is the smoked tofu, I said, where is the protein? Yeah, okay. So these ones that you can find them in the supermarket. Very easy to, very easy to find. It's called five spices or some people they call it smoked tofu. So we're gonna put some slices here. So I like it because they're ready to eat 
they got very nice flavor and actually you can do this on a camping trip you know there is no heat involved right okay yeah smoked tofu you can use tempeh yeah my dear friend chef jean makes delicious tempeh now we put the avocado right right so you don't want to put too much you don't want to pack it too much so i go from the sides hello matina nila yoga okay fold the team and then throw the front right now i get one turn and you see you have this space here right i cover and i have the space so it looks very cool. You take a fresh mint and I put it just like here with the bright color facing up, right? Yeah. Then when I fold it, it looks like pretty cool, right? okay so we're gonna make like a couple of them I'm gonna put them aside this is all ready extra extra soft yeah I get two more I'm gonna have five more minutes this is gonna go here I'm gonna just build up some speed carrot cucumber yeah, you're welcome, Chebyin. Avocado, I'm gonna put two slices. Well, the slice is big. I'm gonna put maybe a little bit more of um, tofu, right? Right, so this is ready. Maybe you needed more carrots, you can use sprouts. And then, so I take the sides first. Everything needs to be packed. Take the sides. You can also use the cloth to close it if it stick together. That's why I like to keep this. You can use it to the side. I see you can use it like this and it sticks, right? Then one mint put on top. Yeah, you need to keep your fingertips a little bit wet all the time yeah and then we just go and wrap it up one two three okay one more here okay and this one's for sinking 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 five more minutes I wanted to make more so this one is very good for enjoying your time you know just like uh, sharing it's like a good entry the summer coming so it's very nice we'll try to make it on Sunday please Martina tag me when you make them make it soon chef Yin. yeah I want to see it tag me with tempe version I want to see the tempe version of this should be really awesome with freshly fermented tempeh, you know? Yeah. And um, so when you run out of water, you always have your cup here. You don't wanna sink them too much, right? So I always keep one at the bottom. Yeah, you need to move them, move them, because sometimes they don't get equally dry, doubly hard on one side and soft on the other side. So you need to really move around with your hands yes let's move around okay so this looks okay again put it up so we tried you put some carrots it's gonna be the last one i'm just gonna see how i like to set it up for the cucumber bell pepper so this is like a gluten-free like a salad you know it's like a salad on the go uh, wait a minute I'm gonna cut some nice avocado. There we go. 
Let me put a little bit more, right? So you can go on the side, yeah, there, one, yeah, keep the sides going good, fold it good, go to the center, right? Once it's all like that, your fresh mint, spinach, shiso, you know? Okay, roll it up. Okay, yeah, it's a lot easier with this towel, right? Okay, so now, There is waiting. Okay, let's do that last one. We got very little time left. So you got your very nice wooden board. Now, because you're gonna dip them into sauce, I like to cut them in half, right? So, I like to cut them in half. You see the filling, right? Okay, there we go. The filling is facing up. There we go. And put some on the side here. There we go. Rabina, yum, thank you. So they're looking very nice. And of course, we made a dressing, your sesame dressing, right? You shake it a little bit. So thank you everyone, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Joel. Thank you, everyone, thank you. Easy to make, very easy, easier than headstand. <laughs> easier than Kapotasana, yeah, definitely, right? So thank you everyone, hope you enjoy it. Keep on following us on our new food official channels, Pure Yoga, Pure Fitness, Pure Apparel. Thank you, Corin. Thank you, everyone. See you next time. We'll have some more amazing surprises to come. Thank you. Thank you, Munch AK. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>